Hello everyone, my name is Terry Marsden and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up the BeatStep Pro with Cubase 8. So let's go and first we need to populate some tracks with uh, instruments. So first of all I'm going to add a drum track which is going to be Spark. Right, then we're going to have another one. Uh, so I'm going to go with the mini video. Okay. And one more. We go with the profit. Right, okay. So we have our three tracks ready for the BeatSet Pro. Now, this is the most important part. We need to make sure that the MIDI channels are correct and the BeatStep Pro picks up the correct um, channels. So here we go. Right, we need the Spark on channel 10. And the MIDI V will be on sequence of one, channel one, and the Profit on channel two. Okay, all right. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is to make sure the each one is set up for the BeatStep Pro. As you can see, the inputs from the BeatStep Pro. <clears throat> and then next we need to do is the input transformer. So you go to local and then turn the module on and add a filter. When the, we need for the Spark channel 10. Same for the Mini V. We need to turn the module on, place it on channel 1. And also for the profits, which will be channel two. Okay, so we're almost there. So if we arm the tracks, now I'm not too sure what the presets are that I've just loaded, so it may sound a little bit messy. But let's have a listen. I've got uh, BeatStep Pro synced with Cubase. Okay, that sounds good. All right, okay, so we have the BeatStep Pro set up each channel. But what, what more you can do here is if you want to change the pitch of the sequence while it's playing, you can do it live on the BeatStep Pro, but you can also do it from a keyboard. So the way you do this is set up a MIDI track. Okay, we name the track Impulse. As this, I'm using a Novation Impulse keyboard. Okay. Place that on channel one for sequence of one. What you can do is you can set the BeatStep Pro to have transpose link so both sequences can go up and down if they're linked okay um, right so you also need to make sure that comes from your MIDI keyboard and then go into the BeatStep Pro okay, just like this right so we're good to go so I will mute the two of the one of the sequences and, and the drums so you can hear the spark playing Sorry, the mini V plan. So if we arm the MIDI track, I should be able to change the pitch. There you go. Okay. So all good. So that's how you set up the BeatStep Pro with Cubase. Any questions, leave uh, a comment. It'd be good. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.